All right, folks, here we're going to go over all the tools uh, which I like to use uh, to do the LML switch install. First off, we have our coat hanger, which I bent a uh, little handle here. And on the other end, I put just a small loop so it's easier to tape to. Uh, this guy I use, the handle end will, will be in your engine bay. In this end, you will feed through your firewall through the hood latch release boot or uh, grommet, whichever you call it. Uh, and you tape your switch wires to this end, and that way you just pull it right through. Uh, makes it a lot easier. Next, we have our flashlight. Uh, obvious reasons why we need that. Let's see what we're doing. Then we have our wire cutters, side cutters. Uh, that will be used to cut the zip tie off the ECM wiring harness. And then most importantly, which are my favorite part of this, are the picks. Um, some people say to use screwdrivers. drivers. Um, I've found that these work best. Um, you know, they're really cheap, pick them up most anywhere. Uh, these are a really handy thing uh, for this particular switch install, um, especially the right angle and the straight, um, you know, but whatever you feel most comfortable with. This is just my suggestion here. And I like to use the step drill bit, uh, that or you can use just a half inch drill bit, uh, but I find this easier uh, to maneuver inside your uh, cabin of the truck. And a half inch or a 13 millimeter socket works well uh, just to hand tighten the nut on the switch. Uh, and of course our zip ties and electrical tape to button everything up. So we start off with our grommet over here. Uh, you pull that guy out from our engine bay side and that's where we're gonna feed the LML switch wiring through. Uh, just put a little slit in it with a razor blade, that way it makes room for the wires. And we'll feed it in and over to our ECM. And our ECM has a plastic shield on it. And there's just a little plastic clip on our ECM shield. You just press that guy down, wiggle it a little bit, and it pops right off. And out comes your shield. Just work it out. Here we go. Okay, and here's our shield. Get that out of the way. And on your ECM, you'll see you have three connectors. And the only one that we're really going to need is going gonna, is gonna to be the one closest to the firewall. And we have a right angle pick here. And you can see there's a little red clip. And that locks the lever here down for the ECM. So I just get my right angle uh, pick behind it, pull up a little bit, and you can see it just released. So get that out of the way. Now you press down and pull up here. All right, and it released. And I like to feed it under the power steering lines. And you can pull it right up to you. And here's our wiring harness. Take your time, it is a fragile piece of plastic. Here we go, got it off. Put that's in place safe. When you get those pins out, what we're going to do is just electrical tape those pins up and push them out of the way. We're not going to use them. The switch that we're putting in is going to replace those pins. Here we are at our 2012 LML ECM connector. I already put the new pins in, so we're at pin 11 on the bottom row here. It's six pins over, and it's like this guy right here. And we got pin number 48, which is the bottom row of the top, and that's going to be pin, num uh, pin position number five. 
that will be this guy right here. On the 11 and 12 model year trucks, uh, pin position is number 11 and 48. There will be just a plastic uh, pin in the place of what would actually be an, an ECM pin. And I like to just use my Allen wrench and come from the back. Just push that through. Uh, that'll take the uh, that plastic uh, pin out and then you can just slide your ECM pins in. When installing the switch wires, I want you to pay attention to the position of the rest of the pins. Uh, you'll notice that they are not symmetrical, and actually one side of the pin is folded over. And that's the side that's going to lock in. So just really pay attention when you're installing the switch that you make sure it is in the proper position, otherwise it will not lock in, and it could very well back out and cause the switch not to work. Okay, now that we have our switch pins installed, we can start reassembly. Here we have our pin lock. We're going to install that guy first. Just real gentle. Just take your time. There we go. Make sure it's bottomed out. All right, now we're going to flip our harness back over. Make sure all the wires are where they need to be. Take a zip tie. And zip tie your harness back down just like it was when you found it. Go ahead and snip access zip tie. Okay. Take your electrical tape. And then lastly, our wire cover. Just be careful not to uh, pinch any wires in the cover. It's kind of easy to do now that you've had it apart. Again, just take your time, do it right the first time. Okay. I don't feed it back around the power steering lines, there's really no need to. So just pop it back on, lock it down, and push your little red pin back down. All right, so just walk that guy right back in, just like how you got it out. There we go. Okay, here we have a 12 Denali uh, with our LML switch install. You have a few more options than our 15 to 16 trucks. Uh, we've installed them right here on the dash. Uh, there's some access uh, plastic down here you can install it. Uh, there's quite a bit of options. Uh, on our 15 and a half to 16 trucks, there's a few less options. So really the best place I found it is there's a cubby right here on the uh, transmission tunnel. And it's pretty easy to feed the wire back there, drill a hole and install your switch. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, give us a call at 815-568-7920. I, myself, or anybody else here can help you out.